In this video, we will demonstrate how to install the ArcScan label printer driver on your Mac computer with Ethernet and how to print labels. First, make sure that the printer is turned on with a blue light on top and you have an Ethernet cable connected to your router and to the back of your printer. If there is a good connection, you will see a solid orange light and a blinking green light. Please make sure your computer is in the same network as your printer before you begin the installation. We highly suggest setting the printer's DHCP to yes before running the driver installation. Let's check the printer's network settings by printing out a configuration page. To print a configuration page, please turn off the printer and then turn it back on again. Continue by pressing and holding down the top button. The light will turn red. It will then turn purple. Release the button when the purple light blinks. Make sure you have run the printer calibration before printing. See the link below on how to run printer calibration. After the configuration page prints, look for the line titled DHCP enabled and that it is listed as yes on the printout. After the printer driver is successfully installed over ethernet connection, we will change this setting to no later in the video. Unless you fully understand how your network's configuration works, if DHCP is enabled as no, it's highly suggested that you set the DHCP enabled to yes by using the online printer tool via a USB connection. Please see the link in the video description. Let's begin by opening a web browser and going to the website arcscan.com slash driver. Click on the Apple Mac drop-down list and click the link to download the Mac printer driver. Depending on the browser that you are using, the download status will show in different locations. Chrome is in the bottom left. Firefox is the top right. Safari goes directly into the downloads folder. After completion of downloading the PKG installer file, click the browser's download notification to run the PKG file or you can go to your download folder and double click to run the driver installation. When the installation window pops up, hit continue. Install. Type in your computer's username and password and then click install software. When prompted, click OK to allow access. Next, a web browser will open, verifying the status of the installation. You will see a spinning circle for a few seconds. And in most situations, this will turn into a success message. If the printer driver was successfully installed, you should see the printer's driver name started with ArcScan under the printer and scanner from the system preferences such as ArcScan 2054A LAN. If the printer doesn't show in this list, try turning off the printer power and then turning it on again and wait about 30 seconds. This line of information will also appear upon installation. It shows the IP address assigned to the printer by your router. Now we can access the printer settings through the web interface and make some changes to its network settings. Click on this link to set this IP address as the static IP address. We highly suggest setting the printer's IP address to static instead of dynamic so that your computer can permanently connect to the printer with the same unchanged IP address. Dynamic IP will work until your network reassigns a new IP address for the printer. Select the static IP bubble in the form. Do not make any changes to these boxes. Leave them as the pre-populated numbers. Click set. The printer will beep once to confirm the change. Click refresh page to verify the settings were saved. 
If your Safari browser cannot fully load or save these settings for some reason, please try it on a Chrome browser. If you are still having an issue, please clear the web browser's cache and browsing data. Once everything is working, we can test print a sample 4x6 shipping label by clicking on this link or going to arcscan.com slash sample. Now go to File, Print, and verify that ArcScan is selected as the printer. To save these settings for the next time you print, click the drop down menu and then choose Last Used Settings. Now choose Paper Size 4x6 and either Fit to Printable Area or Adjust Scale Percentage to Fit. Usually it's 100%, and this depends on which browser or software you are using. Now we can hit Print and Verify. If a single label printed and fills up the entire label, your printer is working properly. And if you want guidance on setting up how to print with a particular printing platform, visit this link to see more information. The driver installer also creates a folder on your desktop called ArcScan Printer. This folder contains commands that can perform various functions. For example, once you expand the folders, you can double click on the Calibrate Any Size Label command to run a calibration on your printer. Click OK. After the terminal runs the command, you will see Process Completed. You can now close the terminal window. If the printer loses connection to the network due to dynamic IP or the DHCP was set to Yes, or your printer got moved to a different network than your computer, you can follow the instructions in this video to set up the driver again.